All right. With that introduction, now let's look at the type of ADSOs. So we will first look at the data mart ADSO, then we will move on to the standard ADSO, then to the staging, and finally to the direct update ADSO. Data mart ADSO is nothing but a cube of the past. Standard ADSO is nothing but the standard ADSO of the past. Staging ADSO is nothing but the write optimized ADSO of the past, and direct update ADSO is the direct update ADSO of the past. All right. So first, let's look at the LSA plus plus layers and which type of DSO falls in which layers. So you will find a lot of documentation on the LSA plus plus layers. So don't get confused. Just keep it simple. There are three layers in LSA plus plus: your Open ODS layer, which is also called staging layer, your EDW layer, and your finally virtual layer. So in the staging layer or the Open ODS layer, we'll have ADSOs of type staging. In the EDW layer, we will have data mart and standard and or standard ADSOs. And finally, in the virtual layer, we'll have the composite provider. So what is the difference between data mart and the advanced DSO uh, of standard uh, type? Data mart is basically aggregated and standard is detailed. Staging is, of course, one is to one. Mostly it is one is to one from the source. From there, we go into standard ADSO, which is still detailed, not as detailed as staging, but still detailed. You can see that we can have invoice and a day level for every customer. We can have the revenues. And then when we move the data to the data mart ADSO, we aggregate the data. So the invoice level and the day level is gone. So we have at a monthly granularity what is the customer and how much is the revenue. So this is the difference between the data mart and standard ADSO. All right. So now let's look at the modeling properties of an advanced DSO. Please remember, based on these modeling properties, the behavior of the ADSO is determined. All right. So first one is the standard ADSO. We have three options. We have write change log, we have snapshot support, and we have unique data records. The standard ADSO is basically similar to the classic DSO of type standard of the past. Then we have the staging ADSO, which is similar to the DSO of type write optimized of the past. There also we have three options, inbound queue, compressed data, and reporting enabled. The fourth type is data mart ADSO, which is similar to the info cubes of the past. And then finally, we have the direct update ADSO, which is similar to the DSO of type direct update of the past. Now, in addition to these modeling properties, we have some special properties, which are inventory, planning and write interface enabled. As you can see, inventory is only possible for standard ADSO and data mart ADSO. Similarly, planning is uh, possible for standard ADSO, data mart ADSO and direct update ADSO. So both inventory and planning is not possible for the staging ADSO. And then we'll have the write interface enabled ADSO, which is possible only for standard and staging. It is not possible for data mart or for direct update ADSOs. Another very important point, change log. If you remove that option, from the standard ADSO, you cannot have inventory, you cannot have planning, and you cannot have snapshot support. So if you want to have these three options, then the change log is mandatory for the ADSO to have. So these are the modeling properties and special properties which control the behavior of an ADSO.